I'm at a United Nations school uh, in Gaza City that has become a kind of ad hoc village for displaced Palestinians uh, over here handing out blankets for people to uh, sleep with at night. Let's give a little uh, walk through this place. Uh, there's about 2,000 people who are now living here uh, in classrooms, in offices, out here in the open. Uh, we'll show you some of that over here. All, most of the people here are from uh, Shaja'iya, which has been uh, seen to some of the most intense uh, fighting in the last few days, hence this jacket. We were there earlier today. Uh, over here you see school desks that have been uh, pulled together to use for uh, laundry to be dried. In other places you'll see the desks sort of cordoned off in little kind of cubicles or mini sort of living quarters with uh, cardboard at the bottom on which to sleep. Uh, here's some of these. Uh, if we take a look over this way, there's some of the cordoned off areas where people will sleep. We've got fresh water over here. Earlier we had supplies come in from the United Nations. You know, we were chatting with a fellow uh, not long ago uh, whose own family survived. He has six kids, but his brother uh, was killed uh, a few days ago. His brother left six children and a pregnant wife that are now all part of the family of the fellow we were talking to. We talked to a mother uh, who sent her children away from here because her concern in a place like this is disease. Everybody we talk to, you can hear some gunfire off in the distance, everybody we talk to has no idea how long they're going to be here. Uh, for now, this is their world. There is every day talk. Will there be a ceasefire? Will there not? I think people here will believe it when they see it. For now, this is their world.